hold out pretty well in a spot like this. It's your girl, lover of ladies, and I am hunting down smiling Kate. Is she right there? Wow, really? So you mean to tell me I gotta go find this person? So I go to the nearest area, and she's literally right next to it. That's pretty boring, Fallout 4. Why can't I just do a nice little cat and mouse game? A nice little hide and seek, not just have her planted right there. You could all come out and play. And boy, do we just have the best little chew toy to sink our teeth into. The legendary Silver Shroud. Sure, the Shroud's already killed some of our best, but so what? That just makes the bounty even... Oh, uh, I'm sorry, go on, talk. Sorry to interrupt. Yo, dead ass. If it isn't the girl behind the costume. Hey. You're really naughty, Mrs. Shroud. I know Making I am. All my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time to rip your goddamn heart out. Motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Well, smiling Kate, looks like I wiped your smile off your face. <laughs> to be talking to you again. I am so corny. Don't mind me. I am here looking for... Who am I looking for again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking for Northy. I'm looking for Northy, so he should be... Somewhere down there. Smiling Kate, though, I mean... She's actually a pretty interesting character. I do like her little get-up and her... Makeup as well. Alright, so... Wait, what's that? Why is there... Hold on. I don't see anything else, but I'm curious. What's over there? What is smoking in that corner? I know, I get distracted. Leave me alone. What is that? Excuse me, how- Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so that's just some hideout. I'm gonna- Oh, shit. Shut up, Kate! Leave me alone. I was just curious. No one, mind your business. Leave me alone. Alright, let me go to Northy. That way I can blow him up. Is that Northy? I really hope not. I love how he sees me, but he goes to the opposite direction. That is so funny. Oh. So, somewhere over here? Yo, what is that? Are you over here? Oh, shit! Someone's shooting me. Wait, let me go through here. I feel like that is a little too hot for me to handle. I'm going through the roof so I can, like, do a nice, better approach. Kate already has him distracted, which is good. Uh... Oh! Bodyguards are done and over with, but who is shooting me? Seriously, who is shooting me? Who's throwing Mazel Tovs at me? I mean, not Mazatov, but you know. How many bodyguards does this guy have? Holy cow. Okay, right here. I don't see Northy anywhere. But he sure has an unlimited supply of... Gotta reload 
Sometime, asshole. Thurible bottles. Oh! Oh wow! We're playing tag. Are you northy? <laughs> no, you're not. You were too easy to kill. Kate, please get up. No time to rest. Get up. I'll take that. Molotov. I said Mazotov. Wow. All right. Do you have anything that I can take? No. Fine. I'll go through here. Maybe. Where is this guy? You mean to tell me I got rid of how many bodyguards? Oh. You're not northy. That's annoying. I do like this cat and mouse chase, though, so I appreciate it. peek a -boo. Aw, you're running away. Why? Why are you running away? Come back. Come back. I just want to kill you, please. I'll make it easy. Just stand still and everything will be all over, I promise. I'll find you. Northy, how are you going to complain about not finding me if you're the one who ran away in the first place? Come on. <gasps> Did he just kill himself? Well, that was very uneventful. He deadass killed himself. Okay. Alright, so what's in here? Ooh, stim pack. I'll take that. And I'll take... Wait, what's this? Find the silver shroud? That's funny. Okay, so since Northy and Smiling K are out of the picture, let's go back to camp. Okay, let me turn on my radio, see what type of news he's gonna report. On your knees, dirtbag! Wait, what? What, what are you doing? Oh, ah, uh. What the hell? All clear. This is the Ew. Shroud's headquarters. Been so you must be the Silver Shroud's you. little friend. Some problem there, you were yeah. up in Fontaine or some such. Damn. Shut up, neighborhood watch. I don't want to hear shroud. what you have to say. Meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Do it, Shroud. Do it. On my knee. Ah. Tick tock, yeah. Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be. What? Oh God! What's happening? Wow, that's On crazy. Knees, that is so crazy. Let me take a look at his headquarters to see what type of mess or clues he left. The fact that they went after Ken. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'll wait for you to come, so you can say something. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. I love how Irma is the one that is bothered by all this, but the this Institute doctor here finally gone. does not all care at all. That is so funny. Okay, so, yep, the chair on the floor. They definitely snatched Kent away. My goodness, this is horrible. All right, well, looks like we have some saving to do, Kate. Hope you're ready, because I know I am. Can't... Oh, Lord, I didn't know there were super mutants here. But Kent, no worries. Me and Kate are here to save you, so hang on, buddy. 
we're in this medical center where the raiders took Kent and he's being held up here. I can't here. believe that people actually had to pay to see the doctor. Yeah, and would you believe it if I say not a lot of people could afford said doctor? What the fuck was that? All right, so entrance. Hey. Where is my friend Kent? There you are, you little bitch. Where is my friend Kent? Not hard to answer my question, but apparently it is. We're going through the elevator. That's like the only way. Come on, Kate. Going down. I swear, if they actually harm Kent in any way, shape, or form, Basement. I'm gonna kill everyone. Kent! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, you made a big mistake. If you had some beef, you come and come after me, not Kent. Wow. This is really... Who's shooting me? That's right. I nuked your arm off, even though you should be dead, but whatever. I know this is not going to be an easy fight, but Kent is my friend, and I want to make sure he's okay. Where you at? Oh, shit. Where's Kate? How come she's not on my... Come here. I am so radiated that my body doesn't even process new radiation. Not really, but okay. I just want to know where my friend Kent is. I'm going through so many elevators, this is annoying. I really hope he's okay and he's alive, because like I said, he had nothing to do with this. I was the one who, through clownery, decided to become the Silver Shroud. And now you have an angry woman with a nuke weapon. Okay. Oh, yep. Hell yeah. Thank you. I was wondering how to get, get to you guys, but I'm excited. Wow, this is a maze. Okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> right in the face. I love this. And he's limping. I just love Fallout 4's logic of once you get hit by a nuke, all you do is just limp your way out of there. Whoa, oh, whoa! You hear that? Kate, you're here finally. <laughs> Took you long enough. My arms, both my arms are broken, so my aiming is. Totally trash at the moment, but gonna use you to scrape the mud off my boots. I'm gonna try my best. Kate, where are you? Like I hear you, but you really are not here with me. Because why not? It makes it interesting. Do you really want an easy kill? Because if you do, then you're just playing lazy. This is the third elevator I have to go through. 
Let's talk with you. All right, we're talking. What's good? You turn up. You say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent's head. Oh, I know you're here. I'll you you. shield yourself behind an innocent. You are Craven Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human and you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Yeah. Listen, man. She's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. No, you're then not. we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then I'm going to good neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. What happens is this. Everyone that points a gun at me dies. Every last one. And I'm not Jesus. playing a shroud. Sinjin can't do anything to us if he's dead. Coward! Coward! First of all, that's it? Okay. I guess I'll do all reliable. Really? Thank you, Sinjin, for waiting for me to shoot. This is nice. Because the thing is, I'm not trying to kill Kent with my youth, so... <gasps> no! No! Oh my god, this is horrible! I like how this one raider here is just chilling in the corner. But nonetheless, I'm actually pretty upset that I could not save Kent. Like, seriously, I could not save Kent. I'm, like, so depressed right now. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Fuck you, Sinjin. And you know what? Right here. Calling card. Boom. Kent! My boy! Thank you for the money in the in the squirrel bits, but <sighs> let's just head on out. I'm like so depressed right now. I am so so mad. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor, and that Travis, man, he got good. Like I was trying to figure out if I can like redo the mission, but then I said to myself, number one. If I redo the mission, it won't be an authentic reaction. Who's the redhead? She's got that stab your eye with a screwdriver look. Just like my old lady. You're funny. And number two, I don't know, for some reason this game doesn't want to save us often, so it's like, do I really want to redo all the way to when I first get said mission? Go ahead. The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. Oh, by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. Yep. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Gutter's been running a little too red lately. You keep them clean. You're welcome back anytime. Nice. Still said that I couldn't save Kent, though, but you know what? I had fun. Hey, need something? Hey there. You wanted to ask something? Uh, 
No, but... Your thoughts? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Excuse me? What? I am taken, Kate. I am not like that at Just all. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. You know where you're headed and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. Nice. Didn't have anything else. Sure. Alright, so like I said, I'm actually going to be playing Fallout until I'm able to do enough missions where I actually get the opportunity to do Kate's personal mission. So let me see what else I can actually do oh, from no. here. The silver shroud in the flesh. Oh no! Death is coming for me! <laughs> Oh, oh, wait. Hold still. You said death is coming for you, right? Come on. Say something. No? Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Private property, no trespassing. Okay, but the guy said to meet him in this place. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Right. Chill. Chill. What the hell is a kid in that noise doing in a room down city like this? Okay, so you're not shooting me, so I'm just gonna click here. Go away. What? Edward Deegan invited me here. Oh, it's you. I thought you might change your mind. Come on in. Doors open. Cool. Thank you. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Are you a chain smoker? Because your voice, bro. Your voice. Sounds good. Wow, this is a very spacious house. Um impressed and you know what i'm gonna continue wearing the shroud costume because you know in memory of kent the new gal is here one moment one moment i just have to oh shit <coughs> oh damn clearly i'll need to adjust the mixture hello Oof. hello welcome to cabot house i'm jack cabot pleased to meet you jack and I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Bourbon? Yo, Please, if... have a seat. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Shut up, Kate. This is a now, job. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Man, if my work wife was here, she would love to talk to this guy. Are you talking about aliens, UFOs, and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. Oh. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. Oh. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? This is plain daft, is what it is. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. Clearly. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. Family? You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? 
Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Bro, I survived so much shit. I really doubt I'll get killed in this mission. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.